for cheap and reliable coins, check out MMOGA, the link will be down in the description below, support my channel by using it. Hey what's up guys, it's S2G and welcome back to another episode of my Derby County Criminal Series and in today's episode we have some really really interesting games. The first one is against Cambridge United in the Capital One Cup and then a game against Chelsea which is obviously in the Barclays Premier League and also a game against West Ham United. Obviously the game against Cambridge United is going to be one where I'll be just resting my players, you know, just to get them fit and fine for the game against Chelsea because we all know how good Chelsea are. And as you can see, we do have the first attack of the game as the ball is with Hesse Lingard. He plays in a wonderful through ball to Johnny Russell, but Johnny Russell's shot goes wide. He should really should have got that on target at least. But guys, then in the 19th minute, one of their players make a really bad error and because of that, Grealish is through on goal and it's Grealish to score here. Can he decides to finesse it, but the keeper saves it, but on the rebound, Jack Grealish does score and that means it's Derby County 1, Cambridge United net. What a goal from Jack Grealish. And then in the 45th minute, we had a chance to score another one. And this time it's Alan Halilovic, but Alan Halilovic's shot is blocked. And guys, you must have seen that I put him as a uh, midfielder, but all like get forward and all those kind of stats. Uh, not stats, those kind of instructions. So he'll be more like an attacking midfielder playing in central midfield. And apart from that, guys, we did actually concede against... Cambridge United so we need to bring on someone like Agbon Lahore who could give that pace in the final third and let's see what happens but they do have another chance in the 75th minute to score but luckily for us their shot goes right a really good chance for them to score but uh, fortunately it didn't go in but then guys in the 83rd minute we had a great chance to score as Trippier was through on goal he decides to cross the ball in but Agbon Lahore I th I'm not sure if that was Agbon Lahore I think it was Lingard couldn't get his head to it. Then in the 89th minute, we had another chance to score as the ball is with Agbon Lahore. He somehow managed to get there and then his shot goes inches wide. How close could he get? And guys, now it's 90 minutes are up and now we're going to go to extra time. So I have to make a few change, few changes. I'm bringing off Halilo, which had a pretty decent game as well as I'm bringing on Will Hughes who's going to be playing as Cam in this game. And let's see if we can you know, get a victory in, the, in extra time. Uh, only and then as you can see they do have a good chance in the 105th minute to score but luckily for us they do miss the amount of chances Cambridge have missed is, is really amazing to note because they've missed like eight or nine chance good really good chances and then in the 120th minute literally the final minute of the game we had an amazing chance to score but Grealish's sort shot hits the bar and as you can see the stats we definitely the better side we had like 12 shots six on target they had five shots and two but they had some really good chances and they could have killed the game easily but luckily for us they didn't and as you can see we are now on in penalties and Johnny Russell is going to be taking the first one and Johnny Russell slotted into the back and a great penalty from him then even Sim Samson or Simpson I really don't know his name scores then it's Bryson's turn to take the penalty he smashes it into the back of the net a great penalty from him and then it's Chadwick to take it but Chadwick hits the post and it goes in so then in the then Grealish is chance for to take a penalty and he does score as well and finally guys it's Elliot to take the penalty and uh, can uh, uh, Butland save it? I'm not sure, but can he? But he didn't have to actually because the shot hit the post and then Will Hughes did score his penalty as well. So guys, if we save this, it's we are going to the next round of the Capital One Cup and we are going guys to the next round of the Capital One Cup. I think it's the quarterfinals. I'm not sure. It could be the semifinals. I'm really not sure. It's going to be amazing. And yes, guys, it is actually the round of 16. That That's weird. But anyways, guys, that doesn't matter really. We're going to be facing Manchester City. Now, we all know how good a side they are. And they're obviously struggling in the Premier League, though. They're in 8th place, but really that doesn't matter. And now we have a game against Chelsea. And I was actually surprised when I was playing against Chelsea because they're not doing well in the league at all. I think they're in 14th or maybe 13th place, which is really bad for a team like Chelsea. And I, I actually fancy myself now in this game. And as you can see, the lineup right here. Butland is playing in goal. Christie, Shorten, Baker and Garbutt form a defence. Will Hughes, Kuyate and Musa Sissoko will be our midfield. Johnny Russell, uh, Agbon Lahore and Jordan Ibe will be our attack force. And I'm really excited to play against Chelsea. This is what this series is about. Building a team and making it face the best in Europe. And definitely the, the, uh, Chelsea are one of the best teams in England. Even though their league position doesn't show that. And as you can see they've gone with a very strong lineup. I can see that they've signed 
Javi Martinez and uh, Gonzalo Higuain who is on the bench and as you can see in the 30th minute we had a great chance as Musa Sisko turns the defender but then passes the ball to Jordan Ayew whose shot is saved by the keeper miraculously a great chance for Sisko but unfortunately we couldn't then guys in the 22nd minute here Victor Moses' header hits the bar and bounces off and we had a counter but we couldn't create anything off that then in the 37th minute they had a chance to score as the ball is with Marco Marin here he crosses the ball into Victor Moses, I don't know why did he do that, but the ball is still with Victor Moses. He tries to shoot it, but a great save from Butler, and he's been amazing for me, and definitely way better than uh, this guy. I forgot his name, Grant, yeah, Grant. But unfortunately, even Butler couldn't stop this one, and I think that's Javi Martinez who got a goal, and he has scored against us, making it Chelsea 1, Derby nil. But guys, can we get back into this game? The ball is with Gabriel Agbon Lamore. It's still with him. He plays it to Musa Sissoko. Musa Sissoko gets the ball. He shoots. The keeper makes a good save, but John and I are in scores an amazing goal. Obviously, it was an open goal, but really, that doesn't matter. He scored against Chelsea. What a goal from Jordan I would it was all of you know Musa Sissoko's hard work. Great stuff from him to get the shot off and you know just a you know good presence of mind from Jordan I. Then in the 57th minute we had an absolutely amazing chance to you know probably win this game but Agbon Lahore couldn't score that and then in the 87th minute we have a great attack to score it's Agbon Lahore with the ball still Agbon Lahore but his shot is saved by the keeper and guys now they are on the counter the ball is with William here William crosses it in to Diego Costa and all our hard work is gone we have now lost against Chelsea this is this was the last minute of this game and we conceded against Chelsea oh this really pisses me off we had a pretty decent game and apart from that guys as you can see Hesse Lingard wants to get transferred I really don't know what to do about that and well I've been giving him a decent amount of playing time but I guess I need to give him more and as you can see this is Robert Hilke one of our you know youth squad players and he's got 74 to 94 potential really insane player and I hope I can use him soon and as you can see now we're gonna go get into this game against West Ham obviously as Thomas Ince is injured I decided to play Lingard on the right hand side you know just to give him some game time for that so that he feels a little bit happy maybe and as you can see we do have the first chance in the third minute of this game actually it's they who have the chance sorry for you know fucking that up but really it was a great chance for them to score but luckily for us they did score and then in the 16th minute they had another chance to score the ball is with Stuart Downing he plays it to Mauro Zarate and Zarate does score and wow that was actually a pretty good finish but also I think Butlin really should have saved that that was pretty easy then in the 36th minute they had another chance currently they're all over me they're literally destroying me and then the ball is played in to Oliveira I really don't know which player is that but really his header is just on just right then guys in the 41st minute we finally had a chance the ball is with Jordan Knight who crosses it in to Agbon Lahore whose header is somehow saved by the goalkeeper really good chance for us to score then in the 41st minute just before halftime Alan Halilovic showing why he is a 12 and a half million signing just look at that from Halilovic and look at that for a goal from him that was insane he went past like three or four players before scoring a great goal honestly it would be better if it have you know scored in the first you know on his first shot but well it doesn't matter really he did get a rebound and a great finish from him eventually and that's his first goal in the Premier League making it Derby County 1 West Ham 1 as well and then guys in the 60th minute we had another great chance as Jordan I placed the ball into Chico Kriate who couldn't score against his former team and that was a great chance from us again. But then, guys, in the 82nd minute, we have a great chance. Yes, Musa Sissoko goes past one. It's still Sissoko. He cuts back inside, plays the ball into Helen Halilovic. And what a goal from Halilovic. And that's why we have signed him. This guy is insane. Uh, a lot of you guys have been complaining like his stamina is low and all that bullshit. But this guy is absolutely amazing. I knew he would be amazing and there's so many people who, do, who did suggest him to and well he is worth it now as you can see guys in the 90th minute what a fantastic goal from Hesse Lingard that was and the ball from Garbutt was actually really sick and that finish from Lingard was insane and that's his first goal in the Premier League and guys that's the end of this game we have beaten West Ham comfortably 3-1 and a really good game and then the guys it's time to offer Ryan Schott in a new contract he really wants one and I think he deserves one as well but 40,000 you know euros a week I think that's a, a bit too much but really we've just offered it for now and as you can see some decent talents coming through the youth academy but well 64 to 86 isn't that great so I'm just gonna be rejecting I'm gonna keep this guy in you know maybe he could turn out to be a good player and let's see guys there are some other good players there's Billy Whitemore not too good this guy seems to be pretty decent Harry Mangan, let's just 
actually sign him up and in the future he could be a really good player. And this guy, Scott Soares, seems to be an absolutely insane player because this guy's got 75 to 94 potential, which is amazing. The rest of the guys, I'll just keep them here. Maybe if they're good in the future, we'll sign them up. And guys, in the next episode, we'll have a game against Everton. For that, have a look at the league table. We're surprisingly in sixth place. Though we have been playing really well, so it shouldn't be that much of a, of a surprise. In the next episode, we'll have games against Everton, Stoke City and, Man and Manchester City. Apart from that, guys, that is the end of this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next time.